Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father who the world and he calls God, and his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai. All right. That of course is in the ancient Hebrew, the Paleo Hebrew. All right. Of course, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule well and peace and salutation to all the sincere Akim that's doing this work in all sincerity on the highways and hedges day in, day in and day out. All right. You know, not being, of course, uh, lazy, you know, and uh, of course, not uh, turning a back on a lot, you know, in which they've been called. All right. Uh, I'm the brother of Mafa from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp located here. And Great Babylon, which is America, all right, um, in the city of Philadelphia, PA, um, coming back again with this truth, all right. Um, I'm going to speak on uh, adultery at the time, um, you know, because uh, that is something, something that, of course, the nation of Yasha Allah knows of so much, all right, being caught here, caught up in Great Babylon, in which is nothing but confusion, where Men and women um, have uh, gone into uh, those acts, all right? Being that they'll go and have sex with another, uh, like women will go have sex um, with another man, all right, outside of marriage, all right? Which uh, that's totally off and that's uh, ridiculous, all right? You know, that those things have been uh, accepted as the norm, all right? Being pushed in the rap culture, all right, by the uh, different artists, okay, the uh, hip-hop ar uh, artists, R&B musicians, okay, musicians such as R. Kelly, all right, uh, musicians such as Trey Songs, all right, you know, just to name a few, all right, uh, most of these musicians, you know, they, they glorify, of course, the acts of adultery, you know, uh, you, you know, man might be happy just to go and sleep with another man's wife, and of course, he's going to boast in it. And you know, and be proud, you know, and that's 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 totally uh, off, and it's against the scriptures. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and of course, through the scriptures, your judgment shall come to you if you don't repent. All right, you Na Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, which are the true Hebrew Israelites of the scriptures. All right, your power is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, now uh, let me get to the first scripture. First scripture is going to be, uh, I believe it's uh, Exodus 20 and 14. Uh, it's the law. All right, let's get it. Uh, Exodus 20 and 13. All right, it reads. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna start. Uh, of course, uh, uh, at um, Exodus 20 and one, just to read. Uh, it says, and and the power spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord. Thy, po thy power, Lord in all caps, is Yahweh, all right, which means he is, he exists, all right, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, which are the Israelites, okay, um, and it reads, out of the house of bondage, where the Israelites, of course, were, were um, of course, in slavery, okay, um, and, and today we are in slavery still currently, all right, you know, um, now going on, the verse 14, all right, um, so of course Yahweh Shem Yashai, he you know he's speaking to Israel when he uh, is giving of course uh, you know all of these laws and such uh, through Moses, all right? You know all throughout the Bible he's speaking to the Israelites, all right? You Negro, Latino, Native Americans, okay? Um, so the law here it is uh, about adultery, uh, Exodus 20 and 14. It reads, Thou shalt not commit adultery all right you know and 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 you know we're not to do so you know we're not supposed to um to to get with um and the, uh, men are not supposed to get um with uh other uh, other women's uh who other women who have men all right you know that that is a uh, off all right yes in the scriptures we are of course uh, as israelites we are allowed to have multiple wives all right um, which is a whole nother subject, but uh, we're not allowed to sleep with any woman that, of course, is uh, betrothed onto another man and such, or a woman that's dealing with another man, all right? Simple as that, all right? You know, that's another man's possession, all right? So now we're going to go to um, Leviticus uh, 20 and 10, all right? 
Vegas 20 and 10. And uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring a precept in uh, between this. The law statutes commands were meant for, of course, obviously for us, right? They are they are for us. All right. Uh, this is uh, De Deuteronomy 8 and 1. It reads, "All the commandments which I commanded thee this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may live." All right. You know these scriptures bring forth life. All right. You know we're supposed to, of course, do it. All right. And multiply. And go and possess the land which the Lord Yahweh swear unto your fathers. All right, um, and uh, you know we supposed to, of course, you know, observe all these these uh, these these laws, statutes, commandments, and do them. All right, you know, not committing adultery. All right, you know, because that's a uh, wickedness. All right, so let me get the pre the next uh, scripture is going to be uh, Leviticus twenty and ten. All right, Leviticus. Let me get that real quick. Leviticus 20 and 10. Uh, it reads, this is the law. It reads, uh, And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, all right, your neighbor being, of course, uh, you know, your, uh, your your brothers, all right, your kinsmen, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, those are, we are all uh, one nation, all right? That, that, that we all one nation, all right? You know, we just broken down into, of course, 12 tribes, all right? You know, uh, you, know you got, of course, uh, you know, the uh, so-called um, uh, uh, so -called Negro, um, so-called uh, Haitian and West Indian. You know, you got, of course, uh, you know, that's Judah. You know, Benjamin is the West Indians, and uh, you have uh, the Haitians is Levi, all right? You know, so, uh, and then, of course, you got the... Uh, that's that's the southern kingdom. You got the northern kingdom. Northern kingdom being all the Latino tribes and the Native Americans. All right, you know uh, Ephraim, Aparayim, so-called Puerto Ricans. You know you get Manessa Cubans. You know you get uh, uh, you know uh, Dominicans. All right, uh, I believe that's Zebulon. All right, uh, and you get of course Gad, so-called uh, North American Indians, uh, Simeon and such. All right. Um, you know, you get all of these tribes and all, all the way down to Shashkar are so-called Mexicans, all right? You know, and, uh, you know, you get all the 12 tribes out of them, and we all brothers, all right? So, uh, you know, we're not supposed to do this to each other and such. You know, this is wickedness, period, all right? It says, um, I'm going to read it again from the top, uh, Leviticus 20 and 10, and, and the, the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death, you know, so it don't matter, you know, both of y'all are going to get put to death for the act that you committed, all right, and that's that's a, a judgment, all right, uh, a mashapat from Yahweh B'Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, for, for doing that act, you know, because it's, it's an abomination, all right, so um, I'm going to go now uh, to, uh, I'm going to go to Sirach, the 25th chapter, all right, in the Apocrypha. Which the Apocrypha, of course, was a part of the original King James Bible, all right, 1611, which, uh, you know, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, all right, uh, the so-called white man go back to, of course, the nation of uh, uh, Edom, all right, all right, uh, Esau being their forefather, all right, in, in which they uh, are the Edomites, all right, you know, because they came out red like a hairy garment, all right, you know, so, you know, they're the only people, all right, um, that, of course, but was, of course, uh, cursed with that, uh, you know, lack of pigment, all right? You know, everybody else, all the nations uh, across, uh, you know, on the, on the table of nations and such, I uh, believe the Lord made uh, 18 nations and such. Um, they're the only nation that don't have, of course, uh, the, 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 uh, the pigment, uh, having their pigment taken away, all right? You know, they lack melanin, all right? So uh, let me get it, Sirach, Sirach, here, one moment. Sirach. This this lesson shouldn't be that long, you know. I'm just gonna go and speak on it, you know. Uh, I believe I was at Sirach 25 and 25. All right. This is Sirach 25 and 25. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. All right. You know. So you know that's quick. Simply put. You know, we're not supposed to, of course, let our women, 
you know, having that liberty to go and do whatever she pleased because when she go, of course, and do so, she goes out, you know, she get with other men, and then that, that of course, uh, you know, that produces, of course, sin, you know, which is transgression of the law, and that's wickedness, all right? You know, you Negro, Latino, Native American women, you know, when you go and sleeping off with, with any other men, talking to other men, all right, you know, um, trying to, of course, uh, uh, gain sympathy and such, just because uh, you, you can't have, of course, uh, um, uh, power over your man, you know, you, you going off, all right? And you, go, of course, going to be punished, all right, for it, all right? It says, um, if she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go, all right? So, you know, if we have, of course, uh, you know, us men, all right, as white men, all right, we're dealing with our woman, of course, and, of course, she's uh, going off. She's uh, causing, of course, so much, uh, so much strife uh, and contention and, 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 you know, all type of wickedness that she's producing, and it, and it just displeases you. You know, you write her that bill of divorce, all right? You get rid of her, all right? You know, especially being, a, uh, you know, men of the Lord, and it's true. You know, uh, you, know, our, our, you know, we know that women, we're not going to have, of course, a virtuous woman on this side. You know, that's going to be completely uh, in obedience to us. But, you know, they, they, they could at least work with us a bit. And, you know, they, they, they don't even want to do that. This is going to be Deuteronomy uh, 24 and 1. All right. This is the law. All right. Bill of divorce. When a man had taken a wife, all right, which we take a wife via having an acts of sex. All right. You know, that's marriage. All right. And join together. All right. Becoming one flesh. That's through sex. All right. It says. Um, I'm going to read it from the top. When a man has taken a wife and married her, and it come to pass that she find no favor in his eyes, because he had found some uncleanness in her, all right, you know, she, we find, you know, that this woman, you know, things that's perverse within her and such, all right, she off, she crooked, all right, uh, it says, then let him write her a bill of divorce and give it in her hand and send her her out of his house all right you know which really you know you go down to it the possession the whole house always is, is, the, is by the man you know he's the head of the house all right and such you know foundation is set by the man all right you know and of course in this day and age in our society we don't have that because the whole uh the whole order of the house has been switched up and changed you know because of the so-called white man all right he has of course driven the nation of yasha Allah away far against their from their power and they don't have these law statutes and commandments you know to be able to govern and know what to do and not you know that's why it's important for us once we come into this uh come to this truth all right you know we come to uh to the knowledge of Yahweh Shem Yashai we return and, and rehearse these righteous acts these scriptures all right um uh let me see uh I'm gonna leave it at that on that one and then I'm gonna go now to uh, verse 26, uh, Sirach 25 and 26. Oh, I already got that slide. I'm gonna go now to uh, I'm gonna go to um, I believe it's Sirach 28, and it's gonna be around the 13th chapter or 13th verse. Slide. All right. Um, this is uh, gonna be uh, Sirach 28 and uh. 13 it says curse the whisperer in double tongue for such have destroyed many that were at peace all right you know and women you know they have of course been you know uh the job and the job uh 39 and 17 uh job 39 17 because the most high had deprived her of wisdom neither has he imparted unto her understanding you know because of that you know um you know she, you know, she don't have no wisdom and knowledge, understand it? So, of course, she can go and uh, she could be, uh, she's going to be, of course, double tongue. She's going to be wicked. She's not going to know, uh, have, she's not going to deal with any logic. Like, how about Shemel Shai? She's going to deal with emotions, all right? Women deal with emotion, you know? So, uh, you know, that's why, of course, you know, um, you know, you know, really, you know, you know, meant, like, 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 like I said, in the, uh, Paul said, you know, you know, uh, you know, it's better. Well, he let me see. I can see if I could go get it. I'll, I'll see if I could get it. And Corinthians, uh, Corinthians, the seventh chapter. 
Um, let me see if I could get it. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and 1. Now concerning these things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. All right, you know, not even be you know, really dealing, you know, with these women on this side. We should be really kind of, you know, not really that we should be, but, you know, we abstain from them because, you know, they bring, of course, uh, nothing but, of course, problems and such. All right, you know, they bring, of course, uh, a lot of problems and, you know, trouble. You know, for us, you know, especially in this truth. All right, so uh, now let's uh, uh, go down. Um, you know, and, and of course, as I said about it being double tongue and such, you know, one moment, you know, woman saying this, she love you this, and this, and she, uh, you know, she, uh, she, 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 she'll do anything for you and all this other stuff and all that. And then the next, she going and sleeping with other men and all that. And that's, that's off, you know, you know. Women, women, even you know, man, it's a lot, man. It's a, it's, it's a lot, you know. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'll go into some other lessons, you know, on it, but I don't want to make it too heavy, you know, or too long. We're already 60 minutes in. All right, so uh, let's continue on. It says a backbiting tongue has disquieted many and driven them. Uh, so I get. Let me. Uh, it's not the actual verse I wanted. Let me see. Uh, let me see one moment. Let me see. It, I believe it was. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I could, I could read it. I'm not sure if this is the precept I wanted though. But here we go. Anyway, yeah, it's a rock 28 and uh, 14. A bike biting tongue. All right, which back biting? You go into it. Um, you, you, you dealing with, of course, uh, slander. All right. When you when you go into that word, um, it means uh, uh, especially of, of the tongue. All right, you know a tongue that's being that's being slanderous. You know, and our and our women that you know they go and slander us. All right, of course, especially when we uh, give them. The, of course, uh, <laughs> when we're not dealing with them no more, they they you know they try to bring all type of wickedness upon us and such. You know, but we know that uh, numbers, um, you know, numbers. Uh, 23 and 23, it reads, uh, 23, numbers, numbers 23 and 23, it reads, surely there is no enchantment against Yaquab or Jacob, neither is there any deviation, divination against Israel, Yashallah, uh, which is 12 tribes of Israel, Negro, Latino, and Americans, you know, being the elect, all right, according to this Time it shall be said, Jacob of Israel, what hath Yahweh Shemir Shai Shai Roth? All right, which you know, meaning you know, there's no curses against the elect, all right? You know, you can't put no no curse on the on the elect. You know, Yahshua, you know, Yahweh Shemir Shai Shai, he has us covered, all right? Clearly, all right. So, uh, you know, we can, of course, put curses on you. You know, we wish, uh, you know, death and, of course, uh, all types of, uh, you know, Yahweh Shemir Shai Shai. Uh, you know, Shalak Rayam, you know, um, you know, send, send death, of course, onto these, uh, you know, these heathen and, all, and even these two thirds that go against us, you know, uh, women that commit adultery and all of that, you know, we, 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 we wish death on them, but there's no curse upon us. All right. You know, um, uh, but going back to the scripture and I'm going to close out after this, uh, it says, um, a backbiting tongue has disquieted many and driven them out from nation to nation. Strong cities has it pulled out. All right, you know, and it says going on, and overthrown the houses of great men. A backbiting tongue hath cast out virtuous women, all right, and deprived them of their labors, all right? And, and I mean, that's basically it. You know, that's basically it on it, you know, in this uh, lesson, you know, uh, more so, you know, uh, you know, not, of course, uh, you know, nation of Yashallah, aren't of course supposed to be committing adultery and such all right you know um you know you, you women you know uh you that are commit going and committing them abominations and such yahweh bashim is going to put you to death as it was written all right so with that i'm going to say call her law yahweh bashim shai all praise the most high and his son all right um of course uh birthday yahweh birthday yahweh shai birthday yahweh bashim shai you know bless the heavenly father you know forgive me of course uh and of course the rest of the elect men 
the hopeful elect, man, all right? Um, you know, the ability, you know, to do this work, all right? Rightly divide his word of truth, all right? You know, double honors, of course, to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, at Rural Well, and that's, uh, you know, doing this work, you know, leading us, you know, to, to live in the, the uh, you know, the right way, all right? Through your Habashim Yashai, supping with them and giving them the understanding, all right? So with that, you know, Shalom.